Like the S8 Plus, the Note 8 has a super AMOLED display that's just a little bit larger. This one is 6.3 inches to the S8's 6.2 inches. Both of these have a quad HD resolution, so you're getting a very sharp image too. One of the things that separates Samsung's Note 8 from other phones is its stylus. As before, it pops out of the bottom, and this pen is improved over previous versions in that it has more than 4,000 levels of sensitivity so it makes writing even more natural, and you can just start writing anything you want on here. Another neat feature enabled by the Note 8's dual cameras is that it can take two pictures simultaneously. So for example, when I take this photo, it captures not only the close-up, but also an image of the wider surrounding area. The Note 8 has a 2x optical zoom and a 10x digital zoom. In addition, there's optical image stabilization, so even when you're zoomed in all the way, the photo remains fairly steady even if you have slightly shaky hands. The Note 8 has the same processor as the S8 Plus, but has six gigabytes of RAM, which is two more than the S8. The Note 8 has a 3300 milliamp hour battery, so we're gonna be interested to see how the Note 8 fares on our battery test. The Note 8 has Bixby built in and has a dedicated button for launching Samsung's voice assistant. Also like the S8, the Note 8 is water resistant for up to 30 minutes in up to five feet of water. The Note 8 will be available on September 15th. Stay tuned for our full review.